For this Rough Times recipe, you will need two cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of baking powder, two tablespoons of sugar, one cup of cornmeal, and two cups of water. There's a song that will linger forever in our ears. Oh, hard times come again no more. Today we're going to make cornbread. Cornbread, a staple, good with chili, good with toast, with baked beans. You'll have some baked beans later on too. Okay, this is cornbread. I'm gonna need two cups of flour level a little bit. Uh, that'll do. There's salt. About a quarter teaspoon. You can put more if you like salt, but we don't like using too much. Because some people have high blood pressure. Next, some baking powder. That ought to do it. Two tablespoons of baking powder. And I'll stir that. Oh, our times come again no more. <laughs> Sugar. Let's call it organic. We have organic just in case you're on tough times. Just don't use too much, you don't need very much. That's enough for cornbread. For the last 35 years, I've been an activist. In some circles known as a legendary activist. And that means I'm changing the world because I can't help myself. There's so much needs to be done. I was just ticked off. I, would, they, I found out that farmers cannot sell organic milk in our province because the marketing board has control of all the milk. And so if I want to buy from a farmer I know has been growing his own feed and not giving antibiotics, you know, I can't do it. It's against the law. And neither can my kids. That's the next thing we've got to change. It's one of the reasons why we're doing this cooking show, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Toronto tap water. A couple of cups. One cup of cornmeal. Alrighty then. In goes the cornmeal. Stir it really, really well until it's all one color. This is critical. This is critical. You want to have the oil in the water. A couple tablespoons. I like sunflower because they don't need to spray it. I'll put a little extra. Not too much or it'll be crumbly. Okay, I made a well in the dry mix. Made a well. I'm going to put the water right in there. Yes, you can just keep rocking the bowl. And if there's not enough, because every flower is different, this is beautiful organic white flower. And it seems to me they, uh, it absorbs more liquid, so I gotta go get some more water. And the trick with this is to add your liquid only until it's the right consistency. A little bit more. I bet you that's the last. I bet you this will be fine. Or as thick as a cake batter. Without as much stirring. Don't stir too much. It's funny. Cornbread and bannock. It's funny. It's, you stir, the less you stir it, the more tender it becomes. See, there's a little bit of dryness there. Stir that in. That's all we're really looking for here, is that all of the grains are coated. All There's no dry anything in there. And it's 
nice and even, the texture nice and even all through the bowl. Now, what do you think, Willie? Is that right? Yep, that's perfect. This is the right texture. See how it falls? See how that falls? That's just right. It's nice and shaky. That's just right. That'll make a beautiful cornbread. A little piece of paper towel. Don't be cheap. Oil your pan. You don't have to use a round pan. You can use a square one. You can use a glass one. Glass ones need more oil than the metal. But this little thin one, I'm going to put a little extra just to make sure. All the way up the sides. Don't forget to get all the way up the sides and around the edges. That way it'll come out nice and easy. There. Beautiful. Okay. Now, not too full. Let's see. How are we doing? Does any left make some for your neighbor? Your teacher. Suck up. Get higher marks. Yeah. Shake it. I'm going to put a little bit more. I don't want to be cheap. I've got hungry people waiting for this. There. I'm about that full. If you want to, you can put the rest in, but I highly recommend you feed your neighbor. All right. The oven is 350 degrees. There you go. Cornbread. This cornbread's been cooking about 45 minutes. After that, I turn off the oven and leave it air, there without heat for maybe another 10, 15 minutes. You want it to be a little bit brown. It's okay if the top splits a little bit. Just makes it look prettier. Oh yes, there she is. Cornbread's good with chili. Love it with chili, soups and stews. And Instead of popcorn on movie night, what an amazing food. Have it with Mexican, have it with Spanish food. Have it with good down home soul food. Come on, baby. There we go, yes. Absolutely, cornbread. Ha, on the plate, ready for supper. Good eating, what economic crisis. <laughs>